This is Ben with Strategic Telecom Solutions, and today we're going to take a look at how to get started with the STS GeoTab Asset Tracker. Because this device has an internal lithium-ion battery, we are legally required to ship it to you in an off state. So our first step is going to be taking our Asset Tracker out of ship mode. For the purposes of our demonstration today, we're actually only concerned about these three wires right here. We have our red wire, which is our positive, we have our black wire, which is our negative or our ground, and we also have our white wire, which is our ignition. What we're going to need to do is start by connecting this to a power source, like this battery I have here. Any power source that has an output between 6 and 24 volts is going to work. So we start by taking our red wire, and we can connect it here to the positive terminal. Then we'll take our black wire and connect that to the negative terminal. And we're going to leave it like this for about 10, maybe 20 seconds. After that time has passed, you're going to go ahead and take your white ignition wire and connect that to the positive terminal along with the red. From here, you should start seeing some activity on the lights on your asset tracker. And there are two lights on here. There's a green and a blue. And for those of you familiar with GeoTab, the lights are actually the opposite. You have green, which is your GPS, and you have blue, which is your cell connection. Once you have it connected to the battery, you can add in any additional asset trackers that need to be taken out of ship mode, and you're going to leave them connected to a power source for about two hours. You can do this in batches as large as 15 to 20 asset trackers. So with your asset trackers connected to a power source, again with the red, black, and white wires, you're going to contact us and we can take the next steps in sending out commands to your devices. After about two hours have passed, you can go ahead, disconnect them from the power source, and then you can repeat the process in another batch, again, with as many as 20 asset trackers. Keep them all connected to a power source for about two hours, and then just repeat as necessary with however many asset trackers you have. Once all the devices have gone through this process, you can go ahead with installation. So this is Ben for Strategic Telecom Solutions. That is a look at how to get started with the STS GeoTab Asset Tracker. For any further support or if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at stsfleetsolutions.com support or give us a call at 1-800-397-7102.